What is up guys, it's Mike here, and today we're going to be looking at the Target exclusive Spongebob Squarepants Monster Trucks. So, as you guys know by now, um, Hot Wheels Monster Trucks, they ended up making five Target exclusive SpongeBob SquarePants Monster Trucks, which were pretty, pretty cool, pretty uh, unique to say the least. And the weird thing with these castings was they were actually pretty rare in my area, and we did not get these until a couple weeks ago. So, it has taken me quite some time to get these, but um, there's currently five of them. Um, pretty sure you guys, most of you guys probably have these by now if you do collect them. Some of you may not, but I'm just going to list them all off in uh, order here, as this is actually truck number one, as you see it right here with the star. And of course, that's none other than Spongebob, which obviously is the main character of the show, which I actually ended up growing up, you know, watching this show. And yeah, it's pretty funny, you know, kind of actually into it every once in a while because of my son and everything but yeah so there's five trucks you got spongebob which is this one and then you have patrick which is his best friend you have squidward who is the um as you grow up you everyone can relate to squidward um then you got mr krabs and then you got plankton which is mr krabs is his boss and then plankton is like the villain of the show which is pretty cool and yeah so with that being said, we're going to crack open this Spongebob truck. As you see, this is actually the second Spongebob truck we are seeing from Hot Wheels this year. Um, the first one was basically just a rinse and repeat of the one from 2019. But this one is actually on the SUV casting, which is, I basically call it the all beefed up casting because this is like, all beefed up is one peg warmer. <laughs> so like, yeah. All beefed up casting, SUV casting, whatever you guys want to call it. So let's open up the first truck in the SpongeBob SquarePants. All right, so truck number one, SpongeBob. Um, one cool thing with the um, Hot Wheels exclusive monster trucks is Walmart has the WWE exclusives, and it seems like Target has the SpongeBob trucks. Now I don't know if they're going to come out with a second set of these. I think maybe. There's only like maybe two or three more characters from the show that they can really make, which is like Sandy and maybe like Pearl, you know, stuff like that. So I don't think we're actually going to see many of these. This might be a one-time thing. But all these trucks, like the WWE trucks, do come with like a little box kind of thing. Now, there's actually nothing in this box, nothing in it at all, just kind of like a display case. Pretty cool, I guess. And then looking at the truck itself, um, this one... It's way different from the Spongebob truck that we saw earlier in the year and from last year. Obviously an SUV casting. It's got bubbles on the top here with this, like, I guess kind of a racing stripe, pinstripe. It has the yellow on it, no headlights. You got Spongebob right here on the side. And that's really, not a lot of detail into this. Just kind of bubbles on the racing stripes. Um, Spongebob has like a look like determined to go after something I guess. Then you got the TV show logo right here, Monster Truck logo, and Hot Wheels logo. This truck has a chrome chassis, which I believe all of them do. Also a teal or light blue roll cage, which is pretty cool. And it also has a yellow windshield. So yeah, this is my first time actually looking at this truck out of the case. Pretty standard SUV casting. Also the black, kind of like black chromish rims with a yellow bead lock. So very basic truck. And once again, this is the SUV casting. Not really much to say about it. Um, for SpongeBob being the main character of the show, you would figure maybe something a little more artsy, maybe, or something. But um, yeah, really nothing much to say about this truck. But I guess it's going away, so let's move on to the next truck in the set. And actually, before we move on to the next truck, um, one thing I like about Hot Wheels is they have these little truck facts and stuff right here, so I forgot to say that. Um, we got Spongebob, which obviously character type, um, super absorbency, <laughs> uh, bubble bash is the crash attack, and the motivation is to become a monster of the month, which if you watch the show, he always wants to become the employee of the month, stuff like that, at the Krusty Krab. So, um, I guess that's a pretty cool twist on it, 
So, yeah, that's Spongebob. And one cool minor thing, too, I like how on the uh, back here it shows the truck has a headlight, but obviously in the actual diecast form, this truck does not have any headlights. So, that's a nice little fact, I guess. But moving on to truck number two out of five is none other than his best friend, which is Patrick. Alright, so Patrick is truck number two out of five for, I guess, mix one or just this whole set. And this is on the Hot Wheels delivery casting, which we also did see this casting with, I believe, the Undertaker truck for the WWE, um, Milk Monster, I think it was Bad Catitude, and um, I think another dairy delivery. So this casting kind of unique, kind of weird. And um, on the back here, before I forget again, to read his crash attacks, we got the truck name, which is Patrick. Of course, it's a character type. Its strength is regeneration. <laughs> Um, crash Attack is Rock the House, which is playing a, I guess, a play on where Patrick lives because he lives under a rock. And then the motivation is absolutely nothing, which he does nothing. <laughs> so, with that being said, you have the four other trucks down here. And let's crack this thing open and take a closer look at Patrick Star. Alright, so the Patrick Star truck here on the Dairy Delivery Casting. One cool thing with this truck. I like this one a little better than Spongebob because this one actually kind of matches uh, Patrick's clothing. If you guys watch the show, you know he is pink, obviously, because he's a starfish. He also has um, green, like that lime green pants. And what they did to make that color-coded is they basically put the roll cage to that lime green. And on his shorts in the show, he does have like purple pouches or spots, which they did mix that into the rim color, which is very nice. And they also did put a chrome green bead lock on it. And of course, this truck does have a chrome chassis as well. And it also does have a kind of like a green tinted windshield. So very basic looking truck again. Um, I'm pretty sure this is the design on his shorts. I can't really remember, but I think that is the design on his shorts from the show. I can't really remember. I haven't seen it in a while. But just like the SpongeBob truck, it does have the racing stripes on the roof of it. And also on the doors as it goes down the back. And if you can see with the camera here, I don't know if you can see, but there's also kind of like sparkles in the paint where it's pink, which obviously the pink is referring to his color. So that's pretty cool. And of course, more tinted green glass in the back here for the doors. So, basically a cool color scheme truck right here. Um, you got Patrick on the side here looking angry on one side, and yep, angry on the other. And then you got the show logo, you got the Hot Wheels logo, and the Monster Truck logo. Really nothing much to say about this truck. Pretty cool. I like the color code, how they basically did it to match what the character wears and everything. And yeah, really... Uh, Unique design for uh, Patrick to be in the dairy delivery truck, but um, yeah, let's move on to truck number C, number C, truck number three, and see how that one relates to these two. All right, and truck number three, not C, is none other than Squidward, who on the show, if you guys don't know, is the neighbor, and he plays the car clarinet, and he just wants to be recognized for his talents, but he's absolutely trash at everything he does, and he never gets the recognition for it, and he's just grumpy, miserable, all that. So, Squidward, truck number 3 out of 5, and this is actually on the Storm Damage casting, which is pretty unique, and to read his crash attacks here on the back, we got the name Squidward, we got the truck type character, the strength, perfect is a uh, miserable wreckage the crash attack is the sonic clarinet blast and the motivation is to be recognized for his talents so really cool looking truck um you can tell right here on the back he always wears a shirt he doesn't wear pants the truck color totally matches the character and i see they tried to make the roll cage at least the same color as his shirt and then you get the purple here with basically he's an octopus or a squid, squid. So they made the purple rims to go with his suction cups on him. So let's crack this thing open. So Squidward truck number three. 
here on the storm damage casting really cool casting i like this i like the kind of old school casting on storm damage and i don't think we really saw that many storm damages last year we did see the demo derby one um this year we did see what was that one i think it's like area 51 or something like that in the two pack which i do have that laying around somewhere but i like this casting i also really like the color scheme of the truck the only thing I can really complain about with it though is they did use yellow on the roll cage which you know if they're trying to base it off the characters the only thing they could have went with was Scrubwood shirt and it's kind of like more like a tan but I can definitely see the yellow too since everything with Spongebob is basically yellow so I like that. I do like the added touch of the clarinet notes or music notes on the roof and on the hood. I think that's pretty cool. On the tailgate, there's nothing, and then basically on the side of the truck itself, it has Squidward basically screaming or just absolutely not wanting to deal with anything. If you watch the show, you totally seen him make this face multiple times. Um, yeah, I really love the paint job on this. I actually think this is one of the better paint jobs. I love this color. I love the little sparks in it as well, how much it shines. I mean, this truck just looks, overall, one of the best looking trucks. I love the purple rims as well. I think this one, um, even though they didn't make the tan roll cage to match his shirt, I don't know, this one might be one of my favorites out of the whole set. I love the color, I love the casting, um, you know, chrome roll cage. I really like it. I think this truck is very well put together for what they had to play with. And then on the tailgate here, let's see what it says. I think actually all the trucks say that, 2020, yeah, that's just like, I guess the trademark for like, whatever owns Spongebob, or whatever the case may be, but um, really unique truck, I love, I think all of them have this racing stripe, some kind of variant of that racing stripe on the hood and, you know, roof of it and everything as well, but, yeah, truck number three, definitely one of my favorites in this set, and I will list the favorite one at the end of this, you know, once I review all of them, but, yeah, not much more to say about Squidward. Really cool truck. I really love that tealish kind of color. And yeah, let's move on to truck number four. All right, and truck number four is none other than Mr. Krabs, which he in the show is the owner of the Krusty Krab, and he's also SpongeBob's boss and the rival to the Chum Bucket, which is owned by Plankton. And this truck is pretty cool. This is on the Roger Dodger casting, which we've seen this casting multiple times everywhere just basically any version of it and truck four out of five let's see here the motivation and everything on the back so mr krabs he's a character the strength is the secret formula and if you don't watch the show the secret formula is basically what they put in the crusty crab to make it so good and plankton is always trying to steal it his crash attack is the dime dropper and his motivation is money 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 which Mr. Krabs basically is anything for a dollar cheap as can be and yeah so very greedy person all that and all about the money so yeah let's crack this thing open and take a hard look at another variant of Roger Roger Dodger Roger Dodger once again another Austin awesome casting on this and Mr. Crab so I can see a pattern here with these trucks um basically they're going with like color codes basically how the colors have you know whatever portrays that character one kind of thing I wish they did maybe a truck that more suitable with Mr. Crabs would be like a sports car well not even because like he's greedy so like a run down car to like save money I guess but uh, I think the way they were doing this was just like color coding or at least attempting to and I kind of wish Hot Wheels kind of made all new castings for this because this is kind of like a one thing I guess I don't know it's just weird but Roger Dodger I like the casting and of course you got the little stand here a truck four out of five and nothing in these things but they are pretty cool to have and we got a really dark red Roger Dodger casting the only thing I can complain about this truck is the yellow rims I'm not really sure where they're getting yellow from with Mr. Krabs. He does have a yellow belt buckle, belt buckle, but other than that, there's really nothing else yellow with him. 
Um, one added touch I do like with this, though, is definitely the money in the racing stripes. And if you're wondering why the money looks kind of weird, it's because that's how it looks like in the show. But I do love that. The dark red... Uh, I mean, it's cool on this casting. It's cool on the muscle car. But, um, I don't know. Maybe they could have did something different. The dark blue for the roll cage, that's easily because of what color pants Mr. Krabs wears. But, I don't know, I just feel like the, um, dark red on the casting could have been different, at least for this, like, character truck, and the yellow rims could have been different as well. And this truck also does have a chrome chassis, and it has basically a very, very light tinted green, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but a tinted green windshield. And then you got a face of Mr. Krabs who looks like he's about to um, get very angry or disgusted with something. And of course you got the Monster Truck logo, the Hot Wheels logo, and the SpongeBob logo is actually on the front fender of this ca of this truck, which is different. But yeah, that's gonna be Mr. Krabs right here. I really do like I like the color red, that maroon kind of red on this casting, but fitting this. Character wise, I don't know, I feel like they could have did something else. But with that being said, let's move on to the final truck of this set, and that's none other than Plankton. And the very last truck in this set is none other than Plankton, truck 5 out of 5. And the truck, this, I guess the truck type, or basically the casting this is on, is something very weird. And when I first started seeing videos of these trucks, I always kind of thought the Bigfoot casting would be exclusive to Bigfoot or somewhere in that ballpark where it wouldn't be used again but I am kinda happy to see it again and this is that of the Bigfoot casting so this if you want to get tactical this is basically like the third or fourth Bigfoot truck that we're seeing at least in this casting I don't think any other Hot Wheels trucks have a Bigfoot casting like this besides Plankton so that's pretty cool and if you see Plankton right here he's also like very small so it's kind of funny that he's in Bigfoot I guess but um yeah so on the back here we got the crash attacks which Plankton character and then his strength is fiendish intelligence because he's always thinking of ways to like steal a crusty crab or whatever and then the crash attack is the chum bucket crush which the chum bucket is his restaurant and then the motivation is world domination so basically Plankton is the villain of the show and he always tries to steal the secret formula to make his restaurant better. And he also tries to lure Spongebob into being the guy to steal it for him. Or just like playing him like a fiddle to do his dirty work. But um, yeah, so Bigfoot Casting, really excited to see what this truck actually looks like. You can see that the color of the truck is the same color as Plankton, just a tad darker. You see they were basically making the red roll cage for like his eye. And then I kind of, I really like what they did with the rims here, how they're like that red color and a gold beadlock. So, yeah, uh, let's open this thing. Alright, Plankton Monster Truck on the Bigfoot casting or tooling. Really cool. This truck, very standard, but really cool, unique um, paint job and color scheme they got going on with this. So... Right off the bat, I'm going to like it because it is the Bigfoot casting, and the first thing it reminds me of is the Bigfoot truck. Also, one thing I do like with this truck and what they did is a little hidden Easter egg for the people watching the show. Um, if you guys do watch the show, then you know Plankton is married to a robot named Karen. And basically all she is is like a black computer screen with like a heart monitor thing. And on the racing stripe here in the hood... This line is basically his wife, <laughs> so that's a cool little Easter egg that they added into this. For the people not, you know, that don't watch SpongeBob or whatever, they probably won't get that. But I do like that. I like how that's different. I like how that's like a hidden Easter egg. I like how Plankton is on the side of the truck here, and he basically has like a motivation of like let's get them or go or attack or something like that. I really like the color of this truck. This one doesn't have the little sparkle paint job, it's basically like a flat, I don't know, like tealish, dark teal, greenish, lime, I don't even know what to call that, but it does look cool. Like I said, they basically with Plankton, 
It's kind of hard to do like a color scheme because the guy's only three colors, but I think Hot Wheels did it pretty good. They obviously got the roll cage for his chassis with the red, and then they got the dark red, and then basically kind of copying his eyes here with the B lock that is kind of like a goldish, yellowish, <laughs> chromish <laughs> color, and then a dark, basically maroon red as well for the rim itself. And they also have a yellow um, windshield. I don't know if you guys can see the light here, but basically a tinted yellow uh, windshield as well. Really cool, really unique casting. Um, I didn't expect to see SpongeBob trucks, but yeah, I think this one was done very well for the minimum work they had to uh, work with, basically. But yeah, let's list these in my favorite order and get this video wrapped up almost. Alright, so we opened all these trucks, and I'm trying to make this video a little quick just because I don't want it to go too long because, you know, I don't like making really long videos. But I'm going to list these in my order that I think from least to the best. And at truck number 5 out of 5, I'm going to have to put this one because I just feel like it did not represent Spongebob as well. So Spongebob is definitely, in my opinion, they could have did a lot more, a lot more color scheme. Um, if you watch the show, there's like no colors here that can really go based off that, co you know, his character, I don't know. And him just on like an SUV, it's kind of weird. They could have added like him catching a jellyfish or something like that, so that's definitely truck 5 out of 5. The next truck, basically truck 4 out of 5, I would have to put this one just because... I don't know. The yellow doesn't really stand out to me, and the way I'm kind of ranking these is, you know, they don't have their own casting. These are basically just rinse and repeat castings, so I'm basically going off of, like, how they morph that character into that car type or body type and color scheme and everything as well. And with SpongeBob, him being in an SUV, kind of weird. Mr. Krabs, someone greedy like that. I mean, I like Roger Dodger, but we've seen the truck so many times, this casting's so overplayed. So, yeah, and the yellow just throws me all off, because it really doesn't match anything with that character. However, the next truck, I'm gonna have to say this one right here, truck 3 out of 5, Plankton. Um, this truck was put together really good, I love the Easter egg of his wife on the top. I think that's really cool, it really represents Plankton really cool. And really weird too, I find that the smallest character is on the Bigfoot casting, that whole thing of like an oxymoron of like the smallest guy on like one of the biggest monster trucks in the world. And also it's really cool to see a Bigfoot casting basically in different color schemes than Bigfoot. And then truck number two, we're going to have to put right here Patrick. This one I think they did a really good job of bringing Patrick's um, color scheme, his attitude, everything in this truck. And this is also probably the most random casting out of this because it's like <laughs> the dairy delivery casting, like what? You know, and especially for that character Patrick, that's like something totally off the wall and random. So yeah, that too. And also I just really, really love the color scheme and I think they did okay with that one as well. But truck number one, and in my personal opinion, is definitely Squidward. I think the color scheme on this truck, basically the uh, that paint job on it, I really love. I love how they added the music notes. I love really everything about this truck. I do wish the roll cage was a tad tanner to match his shirt, but I'm okay with that. So, yeah, that's basically going to wrap it up for these trucks right here. It was definitely a unique set. One set I did not see coming. One set that I didn't even know was existed until not that long ago and sadly with the whole coronavirus going on and everything these trucks took forever to come over to new jersey and at least the tri-state area and i know a lot of people don't have these these things still go on ebay for a hefty price to say the least and you can basically buy the whole set now on ebay for like 35 or 40 bucks which is pretty crazy but if you're a diehard fan of spongebob Really cool that Spin, or, ooh, almost called him Spin Master. Really cool that Hot Wheels um, did something like this. I think it's really cool that Hot Wheels has a exclusive truck series, which is WWE, you know, to Walmart. And now they have an exclusive truck set to Target as well, which is SpongeBob. I would like to see this set continue, 
for a mix too, but I don't know how they can do it. Maybe add like Sandy and some other characters like Larry the Lobster, stuff like that. But I don't know if there's enough characters to, you know, have a whole other set of five trucks. That might be a little difficult. But yeah, really cool. It's definitely something different. And who knows, maybe we'll get another set of these with SpongeBob on like Roger Dodger or something like that. Or Bone Shaker. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I didn't want to make it too long, so hopefully it wasn't that long. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in another review very shortly.